Every dog has its day and at this novice field trial event hosted by Paul Childerley, there are plenty of retrievers looking to impress. Andy has been invited to shoot on what will be a slightly different day with the emphasis on dog skills, not shooting skills. Denied. The trial is basically going from A to B and getting the bird back as efficiently as possible. It's got to go out with work and ability. It's got to go out hard and then get its head down and hunt. We're looking for a game-finding dog. After the pegs are drawn, the guns make their way to the marks with an impressive entourage. So I'm just here just to try and coordinate people, make sure we've got enough dogs ready for the judges. Um, so coordinating between the gallery and the judges and, yeah, making sure things run as smoothly as possible. The weather's good, but not ideal for shooting. There is no wind and the birds will be flying directly into the bright sunshine. As you can see, they're just over here at the moment. They're just working out where everyone's going to stand. It can be a long day with the dogs, but if everything goes all right, it shouldn't be too bad. I think we're doing a couple of three drives with the, the dogs and then we're going to have a couple of drives up without the dogs, or without the field trials. So. But no, it's a nice day. Not ideal conditions, no wind, uh, bright sunshine. A um, couple of the drives, I know the, the birds flying towards the sun, they don't like all that. It's kind of uh, Paul Childley and Scott to invite me up here for the day. As well as the visiting novice retrievers, there are the resident pickers-up dogs as well. There is some friendly rivalry between the two sets of handlers. They are more controlled. They like, they're trained and control them to how they want them to work. Whereas um, these, we train them, but, uh, but we want them to work more on their instincts. So when we're hunting for stuff that has gone missing, has been hit and disappeared into that wood. I don't want to have to be the one telling the dog where to go for it. I want to send them in the right direction and then let them use their instinct and their nose to find to find the bird, whether that's with their eyes, but more with their nose so that they're, they're sent in the ground and, uh, and hunting for it. Crow is in the shooting with Paul as bat gun. Well done, Crowy. I'm just waiting for my moment to wipe his eye. It's only going to take one. I'll say it loud enough so we can hear as well. Unfortunately, three dogs crash out of the trial before they've even been sent on a single retrieve. A dropped partridge is too tempting and the dogs break. With the first drive done, it's now the trial dogs and handlers chance to take centre stage. The judges aren't just looking for work and ability. They're looking for the absolute ultimate dog that a gun would want to shoot with. Right, so it's, it's the dog that pleases the most. Um, they have to sit still, obviously, because if you're shooting, you don't want to be disturbed by your dog. Uh, they have to be quiet because you don't want to be disturbed by your dog. And then they are the most one that, that is, is a team player. So they have to take responses from the handler. The handlers are so scared, they're not looking to see where the birds are coming down, but the judge will tell them where the bird is, and then the dog has to go and find it. So we're looking for a dog that will hunt well, stay in the area, tell them where we want them to today, and they get their nose down and see if they can find a bird. I'd like to get this dog out of novice this year. She's two and a half. Um, her brother's won a novice trial, and then I can work on her sort of open trial skills during the summer. Um, after she's had a litter of puppies, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what she's doing next. The day has been a hectic one, and Paul has been busy, but he's pleased with how it's going so far. I think we're down to four dogs now, so we're, we're, we're nearly done. There's Mr Crow there, shot some nice ones, didn't leave me one. But yeah, we've got a good team of guns today that can actually shoot the birds well, which is always helpful for those guys that are picking up. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, so far it's been so good. We started off with 14 in the running, and it's down to these last three here. And as you've just seen, they work really well. They're trying to pick a, a prick partridge at the moment, but they're trying to pick it blind. It's gone right over the top of the hill. And so I've just gone up to see if they can find it now. After a bit of a delay and the dog's being sent on multiple retrieves, the judges cannot come to a conclusion. That doesn't mean that there isn't a trophy given out at the end of the day, though. There is still the Guns Choice Award. And that accolade goes to Eleanor Nunnally and her dog Nala. First season trialling, yeah. and she's done pretty well in novices, got down to the last four on a couple. Yeah. One's uh, Guns Choice, um, and then she's had a second in her first all age stake in Guns oh. Choice there, so tough to bits really. So. Nice quick dog. Yeah, nice fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah, little pocket rocket. 
It's been a great day and the novice trial will be back at Pools next year. For more about shooting at Pools, go to childerleysporting.co.uk.